it's me Lauren welcome back to my channel so today we are building a like best friends apartment kind of thing like a roommate apartment I don't really know I was thinking these two sims were in university which you will see plenty of kind of hints at that throughout this video so yeah I had a lot of fun making this apartment I ended up renovating Penny Pizzazz's apartment which I kind of forget the address but you can see it in the top left corner I think um, but yeah like I said super fun to make um, for some reason I always have trouble with the floor plan when I make um, when I renovate this apartment and it's kind of weird considering the fact that technically this apartment is just a giant square um, but I think it's just like the placement of the elevator um, I don't know I always have trouble with it but I end up really liking this layout. Um, the dining space is kind of small. I end up using that high table from Tiny Living um, as well as some bar stools. But then I also have some bar stools um, at the island in the kitchen. So, you know, there's not a whole lot of space for people to like sit down together, but there is room, you know? Um, but I was thinking that since only two Sims live here and they're both in university, that there wouldn't really be much need for a lot of dining space so I didn't really think that that would be an issue um, but here you'll see I am ver uh, bleh, furnishing the kitchen um, so I used these really nice um, like this really nice light swatch of the jungle adventure counters um, and then I just have like this cute island um, with the sink on it and everything and I just thought that that was really cute and I used those nice like subway tiles as a backsplash and overall, I just really, really love this kitchen. I added some like little fairy lights underneath the cabinets. And yeah, I just, I really love this kitchen. I think it's really cute. And then I end up using this parenthood couch. As, um, I end up merging two of them to make like an L-shaped sofa, which I hardly ever do because I always feel like it's kind of hard to do that because you have to have like a specific kind of space in order for that to look good. But I thought that it looked pretty nice in this apartment. So yeah, as you can see, I did in fact merge those two couches. So obviously that center uh, corner piece won't work, but I believe that the two uh, spots on both of the couches are functional so you will have four places to sit um, or, well your sims will have four places to sit but yeah and then I use that little round oh no I didn't I was gonna use that little round coffee table from the base game but I don't think I did I think I just you know put a little TV um, and I put like a video game console and some other clutter and stuff um, yeah, those magazines and whatnot and yeah so I'm just decorating and adding some clutter around the around the place um because obviously that's what I do um but yeah so basically I kind of just wanted to get this apartment uh done <laughs> to be honest with you I um am currently kind of busy so I was trying to like pre-record and so I was like what kind of like speed build will be quick and easy to do and obviously an apartment is a pretty good bet considering they don't take nearly as long because obviously you know they're small and you don't have to work out like the outside or anything you just have to do the floor plan which obviously you saw I cut out of this video because I spent far too long on this like I'm not even joking I spent so long trying to fi like figure out the floor plan because like I said this floor plan should be easy considering the apartment is literally just a giant square but for some reason I still struggled with it and it was kind of funny so you know I cut that out um but yeah so I ended up putting that little like cat scratching post so I figured that one of the roommates had a cat I was thinking the one that is in the bedroom on the left if you're looking at it from this point of view um i just thought that that made, made sense i guess so basically these two sims i was thinking that maybe they were roommates they met um when they were in university obviously maybe they were assigned to be roommates in the dorm and then maybe you know it's the next year or the next semester and they decided to move into an actual apartment together i just thought that that was kind of a cute idea so the one in the bedroom on the left who has the cat she is an art history med major at least that's what i was thinking so she's really into art she's kind of messy 
Um, so you'll see that in her room. There's kind of stuff everywhere. Um, so yeah, she's a little bit messy. She's a little bit scattered. You know, she tends to have trouble focusing for long periods of time. So honestly, she's kind of like me. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, and then the other Sim who is in the other bedroom on the opposite side of the dining room. So she is an author or she wants to be an author. So she's majoring in language and literature and she is like very organized. She loves the color pink. She's like super put together. She knows what she wants to do with her life. Like, you know, she's pretty much like the complete opposite of the artist. Like the artist is very like free spirited. She's open to anything. She loves to try new things, whereas the other sim is kind of like closed off and she's not, you know, she's she's kind of an introvert. She doesn't know what she's going to do with her life. Or sorry, no, she knows what she's going to do with her life and all of that. So I just kind of thought that that made sense, I guess. Um, so now I'm trying to work out the layout for the bathroom. So it is a two by three bathroom, which is pretty standard uh, for most bathrooms in this game, I think. But just because of the placement of the door, I wasn't able to use like a shower tub combo. So I end up just using that university shower and having like a glass, like a window um, on the wall. So it just looks like a, a like a divider basically. Um, and then I just end up doing that. I just, I feel like it made more sense, I guess, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. So that's what I did for the bathroom. You'll see me just kind of cluttering it up right now. Originally I did put that tiny living shelf above the toilet, but then I ended up putting my own shelves there and cluttering them up myself just because I felt like, you know, just kind of adding a little bit more personality, I guess. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I had so much fun with this build. I definitely didn't really know what I wanted to do coming into it. I had a lot of trouble trying to decide like what kind of personalities I wanted these sims to have, but I just, I kind of figured it out along the way, you know? Like I, I kind of started off with just a pretty generic looking apartment and then I just kind of figured it out as I went along and it ended up working out pretty nicely. So, yep, I ended up using this bed. I think it's from Cats and Dogs. I think um, but I ended up using this this is the artist's room so you know the one who's a little bit more disorganized she's kind of free-spirited doesn't really know what she wants to do with her life but she's really into art so yeah and then obviously you saw I put the transgender pride flag up so I figured that the sim was trans um, I was thinking Maybe she was born a male and transitioned to female. Uh, I just thought that that was a cute, not a cute, but a nice touch, I guess. Um, I like to make sims that are part of the LGBT community because I feel like they don't get enough representation in the sims, you know? Like, especially trans sims. Like, those don't really exist. I mean, I'm very thankful for the um, addition of the like gender customization options that came in a patch a while ago. Um, I really really like that and I think that that was a great addition to the game. Um, but I just I would like to see more representation, you know? Like I just feel like there's not enough. Like sure like gay sims and whatnot, you know, bisexual, other sexual orientations, I feel like those are pretty well portrayed in the sims but I just feel like transgender sims are not a thing and I wish that they were a thing, you know? Um, yeah, sorry, I just had to rant for a second, and I was just thinking, um, about, just about the lack of representation there, and it made me upset, so. Anyways, now we're moving on to the other roommate's bedroom, um, so her room is very pink, as you can tell, um, and she just doesn't have a whole lot of clutter, obviously she's very into reading, very into, um, just she's very career driven and so I tried to reflect that in her room add very little clutter very she, you know, she's very organized but obviously we are on to the screenshots so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like a comment subscribe uh, do whatever you want to do and I will see you guys in the next video bye everyone <laughs>